live. It's live. Lisa. I use this to do real Homie. solo. Homie. You should have used this. Homie. You should have used this as a prop. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, but I didn't. Yeah. Coulda, better, shoulda, I didn't. I know I could have used it, but I didn't use it. Is everything okay for the prep? Like, do we need to prepare anything else? No. No. Nothing else. No cilantro? No. No cilantro? Yee. Hey guys. I have exactly 145,869. 22kj. Hi, hi, chick. Oh, I got so many highs. Hi guys, love you. How's everyone doing? Haley, Tam, Michaela, Icy, Nurhan, McKenna. What's up, fam? Hello, it's just hi. Walaikum salam. Hey, hey, hi. <laughs> hi. How are you? How's it going? Yo, your name is Westbrook? <laughs> What's that? Walaikum salam. Welcome to Lucky Brother So there's a basketball player called Russell Westbrook, but he keeps missing the shots. So they, call him, <laughs> they call him West Brick. Can you wear nail polish in Islam? So we actually got nail stings today, which we can wear. You can wear nail polish, but you can't make wudu with it. So if you don't have wudu, you can't pray. And that's why they say you can't pray with nail right. polish on. Let's see. I have been having issues with a breakup. Can you give me advice? I think advice would be if the if it breaks up, maybe right now or altogether, that may not be the right person for you. So just be patient, pray to God, and and hope and inshallah, someone better will come along for you. They're all breakups are always tough. You gotta give yourself some time to heal from it, and then hopefully when you're ready, someone better will come along for you. Love from the Philippines. Love back from Canada. Thank you, McKenna. It's storming here too. Yeah, guys, I don't know what it's like. What, what, let me know the weather where you guys are at. You can might hear the wind in the background. It's raining so hard, guys. We got, it's we got poured on outside. Hard. It's like raining, like pouring way too hard. Yeah. Love from El Paso. Hi, Lemmy's. Thank you so much. Love from Texas. Yes, from Toronto. From Toronto too. Yes, yeah, see, in Toronto, in Canada, it's storming where we are at. I'm from Canada. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Nice kitchen, thank you. Thank you guys. Is our kitchen even considered like set up? No, I wish I could make it better. I will it's have time not. to make it better now, so yay. Yay y'all. I want to make it better guys. If you guys want to see us doing a little mini, mini snippet of reading Arabic, you can follow us on Instagram and look at our story. I was practicing Arabic earlier today. Yeah, and today. I recorded him. I was messing up, but it's okay. <laughs> and I recorded him. Because like, why not? Here. Oh, we should have gotten more ginger. Does anyone else eat? Wait. <laughs> oh, how much do we have left? Not a lot. Does anyone else eat garlic raw? Oh, or am I guy. am I just an alien? You're an alien. He is an alien. I have been watching you guys for over a year. You guys make my day. I hope I get a relationship like you guys. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a pious and righteous spouse, inshallah. I mean, I hope you find that person. I really do. So... <laughs> Really late. I appreciate you guys who are here who are joining. We're gonna be making tandoori chicken. Basically, everything's been prepared, and now Mubina's gonna start making it. Am I? Yeah. I thought you were cooking. You don't let me, Hadi. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch anything while Mubina's in the kitchen. I'm an alien. Yo, I didn't see. I need to see. Did you guys? Who eats garlic is amazing. Only, only when sick we eat raw garlic. Am I alone? Am yes, I the only are. one who eats a spoon of garlic? You're alone. Give me some garlic right now. <laughs> I put it away so you can't see it. It's my favorite people. Bella, welcome. You've been watching us for a while now. We appreciate you so much. Love and positivity always. Guys. Right. If you don't have this thing, you yeah. guys gotta get it. It chops everything. It's so awesome. It's like a lifesaver, honestly. West Brick, you eat garlic raw. Nice. I love you guys so much and you guys inspire me a lot. I've learned about my religion thanks to your channel and you guys are a beautiful couple. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. I mean, that's amazing. I was wondering if you guys could DM me on Instagram. I DM'd you guys two days ago about the, the Discord. Did you? Nurham. Nurham. If you want to reach us, um, did you DM us on Discord or did you DM us on Instagram? 
Because there is someone who did DM us on Inst on Discord who I have to get back to. I just didn't get a chance to read the message. But if you if you haven't messaged DM us, us on Instagram, dude. DM us on Discord as well, because that's a that's a good way to reach us too. If you can do that, that would help. Mohammed, shout out to you. 9.03 p.m. and it's only minus one, which is so warm for me. Minus one is warm? Are you in Canada, McKenna? Because for us, I mean, I guess that's considered warmer than us. Minus one is warm for you? Mm. Wow. 10.05 where I am. Hi. 11.06. Walaikum Assalam. I love raw garlic and I love raw ginger. I haven't. I can't with you guys. I, don't know if I, I really raw can't. Ginger. Like, I can't. Hey, do you know about. Who is that? I don't know about that. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. We, we have Celsius in Canada, so I don't know if 50 Fahrenheit is, if that's warm or not. I, I don't think it is. It's but, not warm. Oh. It's so warm. How is minus one warm? It's cold. <laughs> Even as a Canadian, for me, it's cold. Guys, the temperature for water to be frozen is zero. So you're saying the temperature below zero is warm. How? Okay, shout out to Zubair. We're, we're good, guys. It's a busy day, and right now my eyes are starting to water because of the onion. Are you on it? Sorry, baby. <laughs> Sorry, baby. It's weird because I was peeling that onion and it didn't do anything. Now it's maybe because it's cooking, it's doing something. I'm peeling up too, don't worry. Ah! Sorry guys, one sec. <laughs> I might have to, if it gets worse, I'll have to put water in it. Wa alaikum as salam. Can you do tala what? I love your Tala what? Tala means like recitation. Can you recite something for them? Something you have memorized. No, I don't want to. I will do it some point. I don't. I don't want to do it right now, but I'll do it at some point. I will do it for you guys. Inshallah. I almost. I almost did one today. I'm just like so like done today. Like I'm sorry. Guys, but I will do it another time. Ramadan is coming. You know what that means, right? A lot more lives because we're gonna be doing a lot more stars. Because like every day is gonna be a sorry. Oh, we have to eat. Oh, okay. Our eyes are tearing up. Okay. Your kitchen is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. I wish it was better, guys. Honestly, I wish it was better. Yeah, this is only a part of our kitchen. There's actually some more space back here. Yeah, but I haven't seen that part, which yeah. is good. One of the reasons we like this apartment was because of the size of the kitchen. You guys aren't able to see it, but inshallah, when we do a house tour, maybe you will see the. Oh, and we will do one very soon, inshallah. It might look small to some of you, but when you see the length of the kitchen, it's pretty good size. It's a huge size, yeah. yeah. Like for an apartment, it's pretty big. Yeah. Hey, guy. Hey, Jordan, what's up? I'm excited and nervous. For what? What are you excited and nervous for, Lamiz? I have more oil. No, no video idea. idea. Good you guys are amazing and make my day. I love you. Can you take showers every day? I meet this Muslim woman who had B.O. Oh. I don't know. Like, I mean, it depends on the person. Like, when we when we do our prayers, before we do our prayers, we make wudu, and we kind of, like, do wash ourselves to an extent. But, like, I don't know. Every person is different. I can't say what they do, but, but cleanliness is important in our religion. Very, yeah. very important. So, if someone smells, maybe they should shower. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you, you should know that, like, abayas, they can be kind of, like, thick sometimes. So, if you see a Muslim woman... It's not that she might not shower every day, it's just that like the amount of clothes women have to wear, sometimes they can be warm in it, you know? Especially if you're not wearing the right fabric. Yeah, maybe like you said, she could be warm in it. I'm in Canada, it's super warm because we just left the cold snap and started spring, which is nice. Because it's been just for snow and ice, so it was so cold. It was like minus, minus 25, yeah, that's cold. How many years have we been married for? Alhamdulillah, it's been over three years now. For you, it's minus nine, yeah. It was okay, you know, it's okay right now. It's just when we had, like, we have a lot of wind and, and rain outside, so it's kind of cold. We got drenched on the way out up here. Oh, we did. We, oh, just, my whole got we just came from outside, so it was pretty wet. Islam is the first fastest religion. Fastest religion. That's what they say. Ramadan, I'm excited and nervous for Ramadan. Lamise, is it your first Ramadan? 
Is anyone doing Ramadan for the first time in here? Let us know. Did you guys have a honeymoon? It was a very short one. We went to Niagara Falls for like a weekend trip, I think, and that was it. We want to do a proper trip, inshallah. But COVID happened, so we couldn't do that. I told my dad I'm reverting, and he's supportive. This is my first Ramadan tailor. May Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and reward you. Inshallah, your Ramadan will go very well. Uh, don't feel nervous though, guys. It, you, you have to not pressure yourself and take it one day at a time. Just love your channel and content. Love from India. Thank you so much. Purple Dice. Thank you for the support. My first Ramadan this year, Laiba. That's amazing. Inshallah, I hope it goes well. I am. I just converted. Mashallah, it's my first Ramadan. I'm insanely nervous. Just, guys, when you see, what, uh, focus on yourself and your relationship with God. Don't focus on what others are doing, what their goals are. Set your own goals. If, if you're not, if you're just a new Muslim, you don't know how to pray, set that as a goal. I'm going to learn how to pray this month. That could be your goal. Uh, set something that's easy for you to do. So for example, I've learned probably, I don't know how many surahs it's been. I've learned a lot of surahs recently. I don't know, like, let me, maybe 8 to 10. I don't know the number. But for me, maybe my goal for Ramadan would be to memorize all those surahs. Because I know how to read them, but I haven't memorized a lot of them. Erin Day, thank you so much. Rubina, you look beautiful in that color. Erin Ray. I thought Aaron, it was thank I thought, you so much. Thank you so much, Erin. We appreciate your support so much. Thank you. What is this outfit called? Kimar? Guys, this is from Cindy. I'm wearing another outfit from Cindy. Remember what happened last time? I burned it. This time, I'm trying not to burn it. <laughs> Um, it's actually called a jilbab. Oh, it's a jilbab. So, like, if I move back, it's so long and it covers everything mm -hmm. and it's so loose. I love it. I love it. And honestly, you don't even have to wear anything under it because there's like, you can have like arm sleeves here. What is, what is it called? Like, you have sleeves here mm -hmm. and it covers everything. So you can literally wear this in the summer and it doesn't keep you like, cold, like uh, hot at all. After this live or at some time, if you guys want to see, we posted a video today of Mubina, the different type of outfits that she'd like wear outside, like dresses and things like that, for what occasion she'd wear it. We should, we should do like a part two. Yeah, <laughs> we might do a part, yeah, we can do a part two. So if you guys want to see some of the outfits Mubina wears, because a lot of people think she only wears this kind of clothes, but she doesn't. That's what you guys will see on the camera, but she, she doesn't have to wear that at home. I really like your videos, and I like to learn how this religion, their beliefs are just interesting. Thank you so much. Do you know how to cook or only she is the one doing it all the time? So when it comes to meals, generally, I make my own food except for uh, dinner. Mubina cooks the dinner because she cooks a lot of food from her culture. I can't really cook for her because she, well, you don't even like your own cooking. Guys, I'm very picky. She's it's very, well. very, yeah, she's very, very picky. I've told her like, I want to learn, I'll learn how to cook and like be able to do that and stuff. But it's like, and when it comes to dinners, she, she's not going to want to eat what I make because I, I eat like different kind of food. But I'm basically, I eat like Pakistani food for dinners because that's what she eats. Guys, that's the thing. Like I am so picky and it's not his fault. He's tried making food before, but it's never spicy enough for me. I don't even know if it's flavorful enough for you. <laughs> no, your flavor is fine. I've had your food before. I know how to cook, cook like maybe three dishes. I had it all written down in the document, the recipe and everything, but... I'm Pakistani. Biryani is very, absolutely, very good. We Guys, love should we do biryani. like a biryani live? Tell us if we should do like a... Have we a, done one before? We have, but I want to make like a tikka biryani. Um, you know the, you know those bones with like, you know those legs, chicken legs with that stuff attached to it? The barbecue chicken style. I don't know what it's called. It sounds good. It sounds good. Let's do it. You know what it's Inshallah, called. Inshallah, we'll do it. We'll do the, tikka biryani. I've the never barbecue made tikka and the biryani stuff before. on the chicken leg. I've never made tikka biryani before and I want to make that. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing today when we were at the store because um, a lot of the people in the store speak Urdu, which is the, the language Mubina speaks. And in your in her culture, it's a little bit more aggressive than the way that like they talk, especially like the men, the way they talk. So then they're kind of like, what are you ordering? What are you ordering? They kind of like... I felt the kind of pressure. I, I didn't know how to explain what we were ordering for that type of meat. So I just kind of was like, uh, I think it's that one. <laughs> and I ended up getting the wrong meat, so we had to go back and fix it. <laughs> the chicken leg, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I didn't, I didn't know what to order for that one. 
Because brown people can be very loud and upfront. They're very loud. Yeah, they can be very upfront. So Jared is not used to I that like, kind of like thing at all. He's, I had like five of them around me. Like, what are you ordering? It's your turn. Pick something. And it's he's like, way uh, too soft spoken. I don't know. I think it's that one. No, if see, the one meat that we ordered three different meats, and the one meat I didn't know. Like you ordered a specific. The one way. you got was a thicker one. That's the thicker. I don't even think like, you ordered chicken leg piece, but done a certain way, and I was like. <laughs> I, I don't know, just pick that one, I guess. <laughs> it was, anyway. So if you guys ask what's like a cultural difference, it's, it's that. that. That's one thing that like I kind of struggle with because I'm more, I guess, reserved. And their culture is a little bit more like you have to be a bit more aggressive to get things. Do you guys know how to speak Urdu? I do. She knows how to speak Urdu. Would you guys ever try deer? I don't think so, no. The animal? To eat no, it? No. No. No, we don't eat They're it. They're too cute. I can't eat the deer. Today we were at the pet. If you guys want to know what we were doing recently. I think deers are halal deer, but I don't think we can eat it. Yeah. We have a cockatiel, which is a bird. Like the bird, we, we got it like some months back, but the cage we got the cockatiel in was very small, and we learned that like not too long ago. So we were scrambling. We've gone to so many pet stores, like probably five different pet stores. And finally, we went to the store, and they had a nice size cage. So, alhamdulillah, we got a nice size cage for our bird. But when we were in the store, I don't know about you guys, but we love animals. So when we go in there, we were seeing turtles, and we were seeing frogs, and like other birds. We almost picked up two other birds today. <laughs> huh? We didn't get it. We almost got two budgies. So I don't know. Maybe in the future, we'll see. Favorite color, Jordan? I think is mine's yellow. Mubina is red, but she likes blue too. May Allah. Always keep you cheerful forever. Amin. Jazakallah khair. Speak some Urdu because I also know her how to because I'm Pakistani. I'm following you guys for like five months. You speak Urdu, Mubina? Hmm? They want you to speak Urdu. Kana kana hai? You know how to speak Urdu too, Gary. I understand, but with... Um, I, don't, I don't have a big vocabulary. I don't know much words. You know how to speak Urdu too. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> the cats... The cats would love the bird. The cats always climb on the bird cage. So we had to find a cage that was higher up on the ground because our cats love jumping on it. <laughs> Mubina speak. Yeah, I know. I, I think a lot of our Pakistani and Indian followers are more online at this time. Really? Yeah, so they want you to speak more Urdu at this time. Can I be Oh no! My focus is on food. No, 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 it's, yeah. it's fine. Oh, that's a lot of me. That's all good. That's fine. Tandoori chicken, guys. This time, I'm going to focus on my focus on this time. Otherwise, I'm going to talk to you in Urdu. She said something about speaking Urdu. I'll only pick out a few words in there. Bella, I'm so glad I finally caught your adorable live. I've missed a couple of them. I still watch after it. Comment. Alhamdulillah. Love and positivity always. Thank you so Bella, much, we Bella. See your we see your comments. We yes. appreciate you. And I love the message that you stand behind. That's an amazing one. You speak fluent in Urdu. Are you Pakistani? Yes, she is. She's from Pakistan. Yes, I'm from Pakistan. I was born in Karachi. My father is from Kashmir. I'm from Jammu Kashmir. We belong to a big family. Our ancestors were Hindu, so they were Hindu and Muslim. I'm just saying that uh, my ancestors were actually Hindu. They're converts to Islam. Yeah. The first convert to Islam in my family, his name was Budbut. His name was Bud. Oh my God, Aaron Ray, you're spoiling us. Thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. Wow. Thank you. Hey, it's Azara Gibbs. Azara Gibbs is here. Azara Gibbs, you're here. Awesome. Aaron Aaron Ray has been spoiling us. Oh my God, really? Yes. We are so sweet, Aaron Ray. Azahra Gifts, guys, show some support to my friend Azahra Gifts. Yeah. She um, she actually has a hijab business, a small hijab business. And if you guys go on her stories, you'll see that you know you can go on her Instagram. She sells really cute hijabs. They're some of the best um, chiffon hijabs that I've seen. I actually gifted them, like 10 of them to my sister. She makes them into bouquets. It's so cute. That's the one with the nice bouquet of... Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It looks really nice the way that you set that up. It's nice. Was it you who made it into the bouquet or they No, no, it? no. They make it into a bouquet. So it looks like a flower yeah, it look good. basket, but it's basically hijabs. 
Jordan, I'm not sure which idea. Can you let me know your video ideas? Which ideas? Could you show up a close up of the food? Yes, I'll show you. Oh, it looks nice and red. I'll try to update you guys. Sorry, I haven't updated you well here, but let's see. Look at look at this guy. You gonna add the charcoal? Yeah, but not yet. It's really nice. You put some really nice um, this charcoal piece that gives it a really nice smoky flavor, guys. Check it out. Look at the food. It's sizzling up. So what we usually do is we're gonna eat this with some naan, naan bread. It's the same thing, naan. I was done cooking it. Yeah. Guys, it's so easy that I'm almost done cooking it. <laughs> How long was it live? Panini and Maruf. I know you guys are curious about that. You can check our community posts. We're not really gonna be addressing that. We're not trying to get into that whole drama, guys. We've already addressed it on a live and we've made a post about it. It shouldn't have it. been public in the first place. We so. never wanted that. That situation didn't need to be public or anything. And it's just, it's kind of got blown out of proportion. And we kind of got thrown into it. We didn't want to be. So that's all we can really say about it. Just don't trust everything you hear online, guys. A lot of people say things, but it's not all true. So just preserve uh, your assumptions. I would say, like, don't even reserve your, uh, your judgment. I would say watch us and judge for yourself. If you don't like us, you don't have to follow us. That's just how I'm going to say it. Because yeah. honestly, the honest truth is you really can't trust anyone online. And I completely online, understand where, like how confusing it might get for you guys when you see people like, you know, um, online doing all this stuff. So it makes sense for me. Yeah. And um, like I've been through my share of like, you know, this, uh, this whole thing where I see like influencers that I really adore and then going through all these things and then you just wonder like who am I supposed to trust now, right? Yes. It's hard, uh. I get it. We honestly guys, we're gonna tell you upfront and honest, we, we hate drama. We, we hate tried it. getting out of it, stay we stay away. away from it. You guys can check our history. We have, we don't like getting into people, anything. People like have tried throwing us into drama and we just try to stay away from it. Like, we, we usually ignore it, but the problem with this situation is we got swarmed with so many comments and questions from people that we almost, we had to, like, make a comment in our community post, and we did address it briefly on a live. And but, I'm just going to say something, guys. Just be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been see. seeing a lot of, like, mean comments as well regarding this situation. Be nice to both people. Like, um, like in this situation, things happen. Life happens. You know, people move on. It's yeah. just how it is. Yeah, and this is part of the reason it's good not to make these things public is because a lot of people start spreading gossip and slander. And, you know, it's, in Islam, we're not supposed to, like, publicize any faults of, like, another Muslim. Or, like, people in general, we're not supposed to publicize stuff like that. So, we don't agree with that, but, you know, it's over now. We just want to move on from it. Wa alaikum Guys, the reality is, okay, to address it, just, to, like, just to, like, end the note. We have nothing against anyone. We want like the best for everyone. That's it. That's it. We hope for the best for everyone and you guys should too. Yeah. Just wish for the best. No one is a bad person here. Yeah. Okay? Life happens. Okay, people move on and that's it. Yes. Trying snack from her her childhood. We have a video where we did try Pakistani snacks. Yeah, guys, I'm game. making him try snacks from my childhood. Go watch that video. Check it out. It's, a, it's just that those videos never get like shown. They never get shown. No, none of views. Because barely any of you guys <laughs> are interested in watching that. So it gets really few views, and then you guys think that we never did those videos. We do. But we have. But we have a video of him trying Pakistani snacks. Yes, and shout out to you guys who do watch those videos. Hey, we hope you, enjoy. you know what? You should actually try that lychee pakola today. Right now? Yeah, because I want to drink it too, so you might as well okay. get it. Should I get it? Yeah, get it. Hey guys, try it. we found Mubinas really loved having this lychee juice, right? But we found a Pakistani version of it. It's like lychee soda. I don't know if you guys know that flavor or like that flavor, but I'm going to try it right now. You want to try some? You should try some. I know it's, we saw it at like Mubinas. I I'm saw it at the store. I'm going to drink it. I'm, I'm going like, to drink it. You just need to try the first sip. Like she's going to love this drink. Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to go grab it. I know I'm going to love it. I've had it in Pakistan. I used to drink it all the time. The lychee flavor. Yeah. I thought you never had it before. I did. Yeah. I just never saw it here. Okay, guys, the food is basically done. Gary, food's done.
So guys, this is a common drink. I don't know if India has it too. This is called Pakola. They usually have this green flavor. What's the green flavor, Mubina? Uh, the green flavor? A Pakola. It's cream soda. Oh, okay, yeah, cream soda. It tastes a little bit different than cream soda. Sorry, guys. Pilot Pete, thank you so much. I'm LGBTQ+. I love and respect you both. Thanks for teaching us and taking the time to do so. Peace and a lifetime of happiness. Thank you so much, Pilot Pete. We appreciate that. It means a lot. All you guys' support means a lot to us. So it's this. I'm, I'm going to try this. You ready? Hang on. Just put it in the and then I'll look at you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to wait for Mobina's ready. It's ice cream soda and green. Yeah. Pakola also contains the nanga and nach. What is, I don't know what that is. Emily, yes. So she's just adding yogurt, Emily, in there. When it's when it's done, maybe we can do a quick taste test to wrap up. We should probably that that dusty rose color is beautiful on Mobina. Thank Says you Bella. guys. I love this color too. Okay, they're quiet now. I love watching your live streams. I'm a religious religious Jew. Would love to be friends with you all in real life. That would be amazing. Amber, are you in from Canada or U.S. or where are you from? Lychee flavor. How is it, Gary? Can I try it? Yeah, try it. Okay, she's ready. Let's open it up, guys. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> guys, why does it take him like 500 sips to like it's understand? better than lychee juice. <laughs> this is better than lychee juice. This is good. Let me see if this is the same thing that I grew up drinking. That's, that's actually kind of tasty. Would I go out of my way to have that? Maybe not, but it's like if it's someone poured a cup for me with that, I would probably have it. It's okay. It's decent. It's okay. Kind of tastes more like the white freezy than the lychee juice. That's what I grew up drinking. This might grow on me, honestly. This tastes more like white freezy. That's what I said. Like lychee soda tastes like white freezy. Guys, what's your favorite freezy flavor? Let us know. Comment in there. What's your favorite freezy? I like the white freezy. Is that your favorite too? Yeah. The white one's the best one. Guys, if you haven't followed our Discord already, please do so because on our Discord, we actually bought a bunch of weird snacks that we're going to try in it. Here, why don't you show it to them? Um, where is the bag? This bag. Right here. Here you go, Gary. Show them all the weird snacks that you'll be trying in this course. Yeah, guys, we, we have a bunch of a bunch of weird kind of. Well, I don't want to say weird, but like different kind of snacks. These are from like we got these from the Asian grocery store, and so, we still need to try these. Are so kind of weird because we've never seen these flavors. Different flavors. Here. Yeah. So this one is Lay's roasted fish flavor. We've got another Lay's seaweed flavor. Okay. What else we got here? We Cheese go flavored carbonated drink. Yeah, that's coming up. We've got these Oreos, which are pretty cool looking, guys. Check that out. It's like raspberry blueberry Oreo. I don't know. What is this? What is this? Candy cane? Oh, that's a white. Candy cane? I don't know. They've got some interesting drinks there, too. What is this? Dragon Ball Z. White grape. Flavor sparkling water. <laughs> They've got little anime characters, I guess that is. This one was really interesting. This one is sea salt cheese. This is a cheese sparkling water. You got guys, Squirtle on this. it. You guys like Pokemon? Yeah. Sea salt cheese sparkling water with Squirtle on it. I'm excited to try Those that. Those chips are like 90% air. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably, guys. Yeah, they are Thank you so much for the donation. Thank what was you. your question again? Fancy. From a Zahra, at the end of yes. the day, guys, as long as your heart is clean, that's all that matters. Oh, bless you. everything much love. love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. I mean, we appreciate that so much, your support, guys. This is bubble milk tea with, I think, tapioca. Is that what it is? Caramel? Bubble yeah, milk tea. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Yee. To try it out guys join our discord if you guys want to be part of a, a group during ramadan like a whole community on discord and you want to support our channel a great way to support us is through the patreon the link is in our link tree and you can sign up to join the discord 
Guys, I know, uh, I wish we were a little bit more active on our Discord. Sorry, guys. We will, Let's inshallah, go. we will be. I hope we, we want will to be, be more yes. active, and now, inshallah, we will have the opportunity to be more active on it. Yes, and also during uh, Ramadan, we're going to be posting stuff too, and posting things there. So, guys, don't miss out. Join the Discord. She is make is she making halwa? Nazir, no, it's uh, tandoori chicken. It's tandoori ground chicken, so it's tandoori chicken kima. I guess you can call it that. Tandoori? Yes, I'm on the Discord, yes. Yay. Guys, Pagini, yes. We actually wanted your opinion on something. This is not a project that we're starting right now or anytime soon, and we don't want to promise anything either, but we do want your opinion on it. This is a project that's very close to our hearts, and this is something that we definitely want to like, you know, co uh, want to establish once we're established. Like collaborate with some people. Like collaborate with yeah. some people. Yeah, yeah. But we wanted your thoughts on this. What do you think of um, of a project in which, you know how we have Save the Children, we have uh, Save the Orphans, we'll have Save the Reverts. Now, the reason why yeah. it's Save the Reverts is because there's so many Reverts in Islam. Like, a lot of people convert to Islam and then they get disowned by their parents. They have no place to go. They have to hide their religion from their parents because they don't have anywhere to go. And so, like, we just wanted to, like, you know, do this project for those people that don't have the opportunity that other people have to, you know, be able to practice their religion. I think, I think to add on this, it's something that I can relate to personally as well because when I converted to Islam, I moved out uh, for my master's program. I moved to, like, a new city. I was by myself. And then I ended up converting that same summer that I moved there. But then my family basically withdrew all support from me. So financially, everything I was on my own, I didn't have much money or much support at all. Mubina was like my main supporter. But it was complicated because she was a non-member and we, like, we weren't married or anything like that. And we weren't working together. So I was kind of on my own a lot, didn't have much at all. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped me through it. But we want to help other reverts who are in the same situation. Because there's a lot of you guys who are like, I want to convert to Islam, but I'm scared because my parents might disown me or my parents going to kick me out. What do I do? We want to give an option for those people. Maybe give them some gifts or give them some money where it can help them out uh, during that transition of trying to be Muslim. Because a lot of people can't act on their faith. We want to give people that chance to, you know, practice their religion freely. And if that means they need to live elsewhere or something, we can try to support them however we can. Today was the first time I prayed the Muslim prayer. That's awesome. Mashallah. Mashallah. But guys, this will be like That's more amazing. of a sponsorship program type thing where you can sponsor a revert for like a certain amount of time. Yeah. Obviously, we understand it's really expensive to sponsor a whole person. So it will be like divided, but like that's kind of the idea that we're going with. Yeah. But um, like we obviously have to put more thought into it. it obviously, will require more time. Everything you know. Right now, we're not even established ourselves. Like we pay month to month. So. Aaron, thank you so yeah, much. It, it'll be really hard. Wow. But, yeah. Thank you, Aaron. When, the two of you are just such a blessing to us all. I just wanted y'all to know that your hearts are so beautiful and Allah created you both with such purpose and we are drawn to y'all. And Mendy, we love you like family. Aaron, thank you so much. I'm Aaron, humbled, you're so sweet. I'm humbled by that. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, That means a lot. It means a lot. And part of the reason we did this channel as well is because when I was learning about Islam, I didn't have the type of resources out there. And when TikTok's there, you guys see like Adil and all these other people who are making this like helpful content. We I didn't have that. So we wanted to make videos that are understandable for non-Muslims and Muslims as well. So we're hoping to continue doing that and make other content as well. Congrats, congrats you advanced Ram, Ram, Ramzan, Ramadan. Converting to Muslim was the best day of my life, but some of my family. It's tough, man. It's really tough. Your channel is so inspiring. Thank you. I can't find the Discord link. Z Zookies, can you go on our TikTok? You can go on our Instagram. Click on the link tree. It'll say Discord. So it is It is through Patreon. It's basically your access to an exclusive community, but you're also supporting us at the same time. That's how we have it set up right now. So you can just go on our Instagram. I might be on YouTube. I'll have to double check that, but check Instagram and check um, TikTok. The links are there. Oh, snap. What is that? <laughs> What did you put on me? <laughs> Charcoal. <laughs> Wait, it didn't do anything. Did oh, yes, it did. It's like a black spot on my face. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, he had it coming. He sort of had it coming. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. My aunt told me Islam is violent and basically anyone a part of it isn't human, you guys. And a couple of others gave me the strength to still continue doing research. That's Thank you. That's amazing. 
<laughs> that, that's I know. I, I'm I'm so happy to hear that you're you're still keeping open minded, guys. Like, we would say, don't be closed off to any religion. Yeah. Learn about all religions, right? Yeah. Don't be that person that just because you found the right thing that you don't want to research other religions. Yeah, and I feel like. When you research other religions, you become more empathetic towards the people that follow that religion. You understand them more, you understand their perspective more, and it's just so much easier. Like, even as Muslims, right, you shouldn't limit yourself to one sect as well. You should research all sects. Because I feel like my whole life, when I grew up, um, I was told, you know, never ever research the other sects. <laughs> never ever research the other schools of thoughts. You're gonna go astray, you're gonna be led astray. But I feel personally, because I couldn't do that, I couldn't relate to people that actually followed those sets. So, you know, my mom kind of inspired me with the idea that you should not be closed off to anything. Research everything. Because yeah. you never know, you know? Yeah. That's what I was honestly kind of interested in. When I came to Islam, I found that some people are like, oh, uh, be Sunni, be Shia, be this, be that. It's like, okay, cool. But like, it was very overwhelming for me, especially in the beginning. But the approach I take now that I've been three years in is I try to keep an open mind and research everything. And then I ask Allah, please guide me on the right, on the straight path. And if I'm on the straight path, please keep me, uh, may you keep me firm on this path. That That's the type of dua. I think it's really important to keep an open mind. And I know some people it's very hard because you're raised in an environment where you're told not to, don't research this sect or this group or whatever. It's like, you should just keep an open mind. I even think it's good, I think it's good to, like you said, research other religions too, like learn about other people and then pray to, pray to God that, you know, you guide it on a straight path, that's it. But for me as a Muslim, I feel very firm and, and I have a very strong belief in my faith, alhamdulillah. Which, whenever, whenever we commit sins, so we can ask direct from Allah, yes. The sad part is that these hijabis who buy hijabs who aren't open reverts to their family, they have to put specific details about their package so they don't get caught ordering hijabs. So sad. You would know. You would know because you have your business, right, Tazi? You have your business, so like you probably deal with that. It must be really you know, heartbreaking to see people have to kind of make excuses on their package so then their family doesn't catch it. It's really sad. And then I don't know where these, these girls would wear their hijab. Maybe when they go outside when no one's looking, but like... It's also hard for them, I would imagine, going outside wearing it for the first time, too. There was a girl... Girls have a lot of strength to do that. There was a girl in my class. She actually had a non-Muslim husband. She, her husband didn't know she was Muslim. He had no idea she was Muslim. And she was taking oh. a whole course of Islam with us. It was very inspirational, guys. Like, the amount of things, like, the amount of effort they have to put into doing certain things... Incredible. Yeah, guys, I'm just like warming up the charcoal so I can. Emily, if you're this. still here, I'm just showing you and everyone else here who, who have been asking what's going on. So, if you guys want your meat to have a nice smoky barbecue flavor and you don't have like a barbecue to do that on, the best thing you can do is you just take these little charcoal pieces. You might be able to find it in like Look, mid it's Middle Eastern shop, maybe some like Indian shop or something. And they come in these packs with a bunch of them. And you just heat it up on the stove, and then you just, like, she's got a little steel bowl in the middle. I think you've used aluminum foil as well, and you yeah, just kind of throw it in. you can use aluminum foil or, like, steel bowl. See, look, guys, she's throwing it in. See that? And then she's going to put a lid on top shortly after, and it's going to, like, look at that. See that smoke? It's a game changer. It completely changes the flavor of the food and makes it really nice, smoky. It's not overwhelming. Look at all this whiteness. Look at that. Yeah, it's not an overwhelming smokiness, but it's like really nice. Try it out. Emily, you see that? You guys try it with your food. If you if you feel like your food's a little bit bland, your chicken and like I'm not huge, huge on barbecue, but this is like a nice for everyone. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. It tastes really good. I can only imagine how good the room oh. It smells like barbecue in here. <laughs> this is the last step, guys. After this it's done. Like that's all it needs. And you don't have to like be cooking anything. So like the stove is turned off. I just did it with this and now I'm gonna turn the stove off too. Yes. So that's it. Favorite Harry Potter movie or book? The last one. Oh, okay. The last that's one. Your, okay, your favorite movie is the last one? Yeah. My favorite Harry Potter that was book a good movie. is the fifth one. I love the fifth book. Come on, the last one. Um, I don't know. I feel like the fifth book is just very close to my heart because I read it so much. That was the first copy of a Harry Potter book I ever had in my life. 
So it's just very close to me. You know what happened with me, guys? I missed the last movie for years. I only watched it recently. I don't know why you missed it. With and I saw what Snape did and what he went through, and then Snape became my favorite character. Like I was just like, he's like this, obsessed. This guy's a G. He's like obsessed with like Harry Potter. I, I, his his determination, the way he handled that whole situation, is like, wow. That's evil. What a G. That's Snape, evil. Snape's the best. Can we come over for some food? Looks delicious. Yes. I Gosh, hope, you're so nice. I hope we can you're do... You're always, like, so nice to me whenever I cook. You know what would be really nice someday what? if we could do this? I don't know if and when we can, can't promise anything, but if we could ever do, like, um, a buffet with our fans and just, like, treat our fans. Oh, that would be, be Like, so a meet nice. and greet where we treat you guys for, like, a buffet, that would be lit. Especially if we did it during, like, Ramadan for Niftar or something. That would be so oh nice. Oh, my God. That would be nice. We can dream. Maybe someday, guys. Someday. That would be yeah. awesome. What Hogwarts house do you belong to, Mubina? Are you Ravenclaw still? <laughs> I'm like I'm like Gryffindor, uh, Ravenclaw, and he is Hufflepuff. The oh. One I didn't want, like that and Slytherin. I, I wanted Ravenclaw. But Guys, I, I always get like between the two. Like first time I did the Pottermore test, I got Gryffindor. The second time I did it, I got Ravenclaw, and then the third time I did it, I got Gryffindor again. They said you guys are cutting out. Can you guys let us know if the signal's okay? Can you guys let us know if the signal's okay? Right here. Hello. Puff. Hello. Is it say yes if it's okay, guys? I want to go to UK. Inshallah. Now. Guys, my friend actually got me a Harry Potter shirt and a keychain yes. from UK. She I'm went to that. like that whole Harry Potter museum thing that they have in UK. So cool. And I have souvenirs from there. Someone said, Daniel, I will fly to Canada from Australia for the buffet right now. Can you guys <laughs> imagine how lit that would be? Just a buffet with all you guys. I would love to do that. You guys can ask us so many questions. It's funny just though, like, when you meet just us in chill. person, you just don't talk. It's yeah. When when people meet us, usually they're like, "Are are you from TikTok?" And it's like, "Yeah." And then after we say yes, it's just okay. And then they just like, "Okay, cool, nice." They don't even say anything. Actually, they're just like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so, so we actually had what I think one of the more interesting experiences. We had a security guard get out of his car. From we were at Best Buy. The guy gets out of his car and he's like, "Can I take a picture with you?" So he stopped. That was very cool. He stopped his job just to take a picture with us. That was like, like a humbling moment. Was like, wow. Yeah. We like, we didn't. And even when people come to us in person, we don't expect it. Like we're just like, it's kind of humbling when people like, I guess recognize. But sometimes you. you guys come up to us and you're like, "Oh, you're famous," and we're just like, "No, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We don't." I yeah. Don't like calling myself famous. It just sounds weird to me. You know what the sad thing is, guys? Honestly, it's even for me before we did videos. I it's so hard to trust people's intentions online, especially when you when people see most of them influencers like, oh, you guys are just doing this for money and like yeah. cloud and fame. And unfortunately, really there sad. are some of these influencers out there who are doing it for that. And I've we've seen it, but it's like. I, it's hard to trust people. I just hope that someday people can watch us and, and genuinely see that like what we show is what we are. Like it's not there's nothing hidden. Yeah. But I know it's so hard to believe because of what everyone else has done online. There's some people we get it. We get it. Sketchy though. stuff online. We understand that. We get it. It's hard for me to even to trust people online. It's not. And guys, apologies for the wind sounds in the background. It's it's just a kind of stormy, windy type of night. We're gonna be filming a. Um, Buzzer al Haya, we're gonna be doing Mubina's gonna be trying on different outfits. I hope the wind doesn't interfere with the sound. It but... doesn't matter. Okay. Most humble Muslim couple I know about. Thank you so much. I wouldn't even consider myself that because I'm sure there are people that are better than us guys. There's always gonna be better people. Just just watch our videos and see the type of content we're making. Um the the purpose of the content is to like you know get you guys to understand that islam is not a bad religion that's literally what it is we try to break stereotypes and that's our purpose online beyond that like i don't want to say anything yeah we're just showing what we do we don't try to pressure people to convert people usually will want to do that on their own and if we can help them with that process or like answer questions that's what we try to do but we're not here to try to convert people i never started this to convert people like it's just to share what we do to give information and we're not scholars but we can still share like what opinions we follow things that we do so hopes that people can do their own research there's always room for a bunch of muslim uh influencers guys yes. always room for that they asked uh, nazir he asked do you know do you know urdu can you speak yeah. <laughs> और मेहदी इसको टेस्ट टेस्ट करेगा 
उसके बाद यू नो यू नो हाउ वी एंड आर लाइव इट्स ऑलवेज वेर लाइक हिम टेस्टिंग माई फूड एंड वी एंड इट नान के पास नान के पास वेर इज अन नान <laughs> Hope this is okay to ask as a Christian who believe we get to heaven through Christ. What does Islam teach or believe? I enjoy watching your videos. May Allah bless you. So in Islam, what we believe is that we don't know who's going to heaven or hell. We're told that if in Islam we follow the religion, we'll eventually go to heaven. But the thing is, you have to follow the religion with a sincere heart. We're told that even if you have a little ounce of pride. You can't enter heaven. <laughs> But the only, only unforgivable sin that we have in Islam is shirk, which is associating partners to God. So as long as we don't associate partners to God, we will eventually, like even if we go to hell first, we'll eventually go to heaven. That's what we believe. But not all Muslims are going to heaven straight. Like I think that's a misconception that a lot of people have. That's not how it works, <laughs> unfortunately. Otherwise, we wouldn't really have an incentive to work for paradise. Have you ever done martial arts classes? Actually, I have. Um, I think we both have. I've done like three classes or four. And how many classes have you done? I did quite a. F- I did it for like a year. Or I'm two. a white belt. I didn't even get to yellow. You know what I was? I was green with like blue on it. I think. This is not good. We're gonna heat it up a bit. Garlic nuns. Look how he holds it, guys. It's like it's his baby. Honey. I don't know if I'm going out of the way. I'm sorry if I'm moving up, but how are you doing after the thing with Sidro? Yes, I'm also going through the similar thing. I don't know how to deal with it. Oh my God, you're going through something similar too? I'm really sorry uh, that sucks. you are going through it. This week has been extremely rough for me. Uh, losing a friend is never easy, guys. It's it's not easy. It's hard to move on from, especially if it's someone like you were very close to. It's an extremely hard thing to do. Um, This is exactly why I wish it wasn't public because it's harder to move on. Now that everyone keeps asking me these questions, it's so hard for me to move on. Like it's constantly reminding me that you know this happened, and it's constantly making me think about it, and I just don't. So guys, like please do me a favor and just don't ask me these questions anymore because it hurts every time. One thing, one thing to say is that Mubina, I've known her for almost eight years, guys. She never breaks a friendship. Okay. We know the reason why the friendship was broken, and that's we're not gonna talk about that. But Mubina herself, she never would break a friendship with someone. So if someone does something to her, that's on them. That's not something Mubina would do. So the people are like, what's the reason? We're not gonna go into detail on that. We know what the reason is, guys. But when people say, like, why are you guys confused? Why did you say you're confused? We have our reasons why we're confused. Cause, but we're not gonna go into detail on that. Just because we're confused, guys, doesn't mean we don't lying. know the reason. Yeah, we're not lying. It just means it. I'm confused because I've never had this happen to me with any of my friends. I've never had like a friendship breakup ever in my life. I've had a bunch of friends. Like I have friends that I've made when I was eight years old, or even when I was two years old. I still am friends with them. I've never had a friendship breakup, so this is the first time for me, and it's hard. And it's harder because it's public, and now everyone keeps asking me these questions, and it's so hard to move on. If only it wasn't public, we didn't want it to be. Sorry, Mubin, I started with the question. Please forgive me. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, but at least now you guys know. The truth comes out in some. Mubin, I want to know if I could still wear your style of clothing as a Christian boy. Can I still wear it, like the hijab, and not like things? But this is too much. You don't have to answer. So we believe these clothes are for women, like it's only for females. And so, like if uh, like if you are a female and you're a Christian or non-Muslim and you want to wear it, that's cool. But to us, like as women, it would be offensive if like a man wore it. Just that's just my personal thing. I'm sorry. I didn't want to like I don't want to hurt anybody. I would never break a true friendship. Disagreements and even fights happen and can even make your bond. Um, Even make your bond stronger by getting through it. I'm so sorry this happened to you. You know you deserve better. I wouldn't say I deserve better. 
I would just say that I wish that like no friendship breakups ever happened because they're hard. You do deserve better. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> She's being shy. Stop. No. I have a lot of really good friends, guys. I'm really yeah. blessed. Trust me. When I tell you, like, my friends, they're very, very, like, some of the best people ever. And that's why I'm not used to this friendship breakup because it's never happened to me because I'm blessed with really good friends. And I think I think if, if you do end a friendship and, like, things get distant, I think people, like, it's just best to move on quietly and just go your own way. Where you guys live right now? Yes, it is Canada. It's obvious we're in Canada. Guys, I don't want this to turn into, like, who's right and who's wrong type thing. I don't like that. I don't want anyone to be mean to anybody. I don't want anyone to say that anyone else deserved better or anyone else deserved worse. I think, like, I just want to be my own person and I kind of want to move on from the situation. That's it. Yeah. Movie and I didn't realize you covered your eyebrows. Is that required for a preference? So, um, it is... It is not completely required but it's better if you do it i would say because like you hide whatever you can and if eyebrows are like you know there then you should hide that too i mean some scholars say that you should only have one eye visible <laughs> so I mean, it's, you know yeah there are scholars that say one like these, yeah only have one eye visible so you can see the way so wait, wait, wait. so it's like it's like this yeah, kind of. Like, you have a cloth <laughs> over one of your eyes. That looked like, like a pirate. No, no, because back then they didn't have niqabs, right? Like, the niqabs didn't look like this. They had <laughs> cloths that they would have over their faces. They would wear jilbabs. And that's why, I think that's probably why there's so much confusion on whether it's just hijab or whether it's just niqab. Because women back in the day didn't have this stitched niqab type of fabric. This is just what we have for convenience. Back in the day, what women would do is they would take their cloth and they would put it over their faces, like down on their faces, or they they cover their faces like this. So um, that's why I would say that you know, um, like that's why some scholars say only have one eye visible to see the way. If you guys are wondering, so we have the chicken is cooked, but we're just waiting for the naan. It should be done pretty soon. Yeah, and once he taste tests, then we will end the live. It's that I think I have it set for four hundred, honey. Is that enough? Is that the non? Is that okay? 400? Bebo! What am I supposed to say to that? Completely! 5, 450? Mm hmm Oh. No one is wrong or right, also no one is evil. If the friendship wasn't supposed to stay and it happens, no one deserves better. Also no one lost, but no one gained anything. You are amazing. Exactly. I think no one could have said that, like, more perfect. That was very well said. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean anything bad by you deserve better or anything negative, but to sit right all, I only meant your heart doesn't deserve to be hurting and I'm very sorry that it happened. Julia, thank you so much. No, you don't have to feel bad. Trust me, you don't have to feel bad at all. I love that you guys care so much for me where you would say th these things and it's very nice and appreciate it, trust just, me. Just please, guys, judge us, judge Mubina as well on what you see, don't judge on what people say because people can say all kinds of stuff about us online, but it's not true. Maybe someone in us are down. <laughs> we don't know, God forbid. What province do you guys live in? Ontario. Canada? We're in Ontario. Ontario guys, let's change the topic now. Let's let's be like let's be like cool people, okay? Let's be I don't cool know. People. Let's be weird people. <laughs> in, honestly, guys, I think I'm a weirdo in real life. Okay, let's change the topic and get Medina to eat some fish chips. No, 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 no. <laughs> guys, I can't eat fish. Eat some fishy stuff for honey. I can't eat fish. <laughs> Do you use Lala hijabs from Sally family? Yes, I do. They're very nice. They're very pretty hijabs. So you are amazing and you are strong and you have very amazing husband and that is what really matters. Okay, and as long as you guys have each other, that's what matters. Exactly. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Simple exactly. Like that, yo. Simple as that. Exactly. Sometimes you have to look at the blessings rather than like the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away from you. So just focus on the good instead of focusing on the bad. And that's sometimes hard for us, you know? It's really hard. I'm from Bangladesh. I love your videos. Take love from Bangladesh. By the way, do you guys know Bangladesh? Yes, we, yes, do. we, yes, do. we do. Absolutely, we do. Yes, we do. Can you swallow your spit while fasting? I mean, don't do it purposely, but obviously it's spit and it's in your mouth. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Like, May I have some chips and that chicken, please? Sure. Emily, Fish em chips Emily's and chicken. Been waiting. Emily, I know you want to see the final food, so inshallah we're going to show you the final food. Can Muslim women do gymnastics? I was actually in gymnastics when I was little. I used to do flips, I used to do all these cartwheels and stuff. Did I ever show you a front flip? 
No. Dang, I never showed it to you. I don't know how anything. You didn't show me anything. Oh man, no. I would, I would, I was able to make bridge. Like you know those bridges, like you go can you back. Can still do it, Andy? No, I can't make a bridge anymore. I don't even know if I can do like front flips anymore. Hi, I am sick by religion, but love to watch your video. Thank you, Grace. We appreciate that so much. I'm not sure if that's your name or username, but thank no. you. See, people are so sweet. Please, people do. See, people are like so sweet, guys. If you ever meet oh someone, my God. See, oh my God. they're like the most jolly, um, happy, and uh, the most sweetest people ever. They're so honest, nice. Honest people, yes. Yeah, you, you, knew, you knew one, right? Darshan. Darshan, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Darshan. <laughs> Omar Khalil. Well, like, so, um, your beautiful timing, boy. Did you, did you like, I'm find this? You, like, I feel, like, I'm actually suspicious. Let's wait till the end and come right in. Omar, I think <laughs> I'm actually getting suspicious. I feel like you literally wait till we're done our live to come on. Like, let's wait till it's about like an hour, like 55 minutes in. Yeah, let's, let's wait the and then I'll, I'll join in so that, you know, I catch the ending. DJ, I also, I just subscribed to you guys because you guys are amazing. You guys are so inspirational. Thank, Thank you, you so DJ. much. We mean Thank so a lot. And welcome so to our channel. Awesome. Welcome to the family. Are you guys in India? If you, if you read this, love your videos. We are from Canada. Mubina is from Pakistan. My dad's actually from India. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> yeah. I love your TikToks and you guys inspired me to be more confident about myself. That's awesome. Should be, guys. We want you guys to be happy with yourself, be confident about yourself, feel good about yourself. That's we're always about that positivity, guys. Can you speak Urdu for 10 minutes? Yes. Chale, I speak Urdu. I see how much I understand my thoughts. How much? You're saying how much I'll understand? I see how much I understand. Chale, I'll go out. Something about non and how much I'll understand. Get the non out. Yes. We need to do speaking with the part two. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Jagger Nan Nicolo, Chalo, Chalo, G. Chaba lo, Mase, or Jagger Nan Nicolo. Chaba. Can you guys tell me how to say hi in your language? Because I've always wondered how to say hi. Uh, for hi, we say adab, we say hello, we I've say salam. Assalamu alaikum, that's how we say hi. So they have these cute little guys. You see this for anyone who's not from. They have these little cute places. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Random thought, if you were in a band, how would you play an instrument dressed as that would be? I'm not sure how to spell the clothing items. Um, I wouldn't be in a band. <laughs> I want to know what your family converted to Islam would be now. Amber Rooster. Um, my family, I think they converted in the... Early? Did I burn it? I think honey? it's late, late 1800s. Did I burn it? Honey? No, you did not burn it. Is it hard? I How hard is it? Maybe the edge is a little crispy. No, it's good. It's good. Look, I made it. Guys, he made the naan. I like to just throw it in I'm the sorry, I'm asking too many questions. I'm just curious, kid, wondering about the religion. It makes me so Excuse crazy when I have questions. Like, no, it's okay. You can ask any questions. Random thought. How do you guys feel about Pickle Rick? Who's that? Who's Pickle Rick? Who's that? Chalo, ab chicken ka time a gaya. Please read this comment in Urdu let and Shah. Let me say it. Chalo, ab chicken ka time a gaya. Shahid Bashir. I tell Mubina to speak Urdu at home so I can learn the language. So I don't want to speak Urdu. I will take the food and you will try the food. Okay? Okay. She's saying try the food. We're gonna try the food now. I can understand it more than I can speak, guys, okay? Aapko I can speak Jack. Aapko Dakni Urdu hai kya? Dakni matlab, uh, matlab Hyderabadi. Matlab means what it, something means. Omar Khalil, aapke saath to Hyderabadi Urdu mein baat karni padegi. Bohut hi piyari Urdu hoti hai, Hyderabadi Urdu. You love? Sabse piyari, itni piyari hoti hai. Piyari means love. So she loves some Hyderabadi Urdu, what? You love it? <laughs> No, I love when you speak in Urdu. <laughs> How do you guys feel about Putin right now? I, uh, I don't we don't know. want to talk about any Putin here. Yeah. Ramzan Arahahi. Yes. Favorite part about Ramadan is just, I don't know, anything iftar with family. And re learning, uh, doing Quran, reading Quran. I, I want to read the Quran. I want to memorize surahs. Like, I'm excited. Sajida, how are you? Salam, Mubina. Walaikum salam. Dakini is the official name of Hyderabadi Urdu. Yes, it's very sweet in Hyderabad. I'm going to say Dakni. Urdu is very beautiful. Guys, if you don't know, Dakni is the official name of Hyderabad. Yes, it's very beautiful. 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 Yes, it's very beauti
that um, like Hyderabadi Urdu or like Dakni Urdu is like um, I would I would compare it to British English versus normal English. It's like so sweet. I love that. Chalo yeah. kana hai. Chalo main nikalti hu. Chalo main nikalti Their language is so hard to learn, guys. Nikalti It's so hard. There's so many words to learn. Chalo main nikalti hu. Nikalti hu. Nikalti? I don't know. I'm trying to learn Arabic for Quran. I'm trying to learn this. And, like, not really this, but like this is hard. My kids will have to teach me Urdu or something. I don't know. <laughs> इनको जो है ना कीमे की शक्ल दिखा दो इससे पहले कि मैं डालूं नमरी देश है नहीं नहीं कीमे की शक्ल दिखाओ मैंने शक्ल लिख रहा था व्हाट कीमे की शक्ल दिखाओ ट्रांसलेट फॉर मी गाइस व्हाट शक्ल लिख रहा था शक्ल लो व्हाट शक्ल लो व्हाट शक्ल लो व्हाट व्हाट डज दैट मीन कीमा शक्ल कैमरे को उठाओ और कीमा दिखाओ शोइंग दिस विद द कैमरा दिखाओ मींस शो आई नो व्हाट दैट वर्ड इज चलो मैं तुम्हें डाल के दे रही हूं इसको खाकर बताना कि कैसा बना है What the heck does that mean? I hate when they have the sentences and it's like I always look for that one word I know what it means and then she says a sentence I don't know what it means. Shekel means okay thank you Shahid. Shekel means face. You're gonna see my face when I try it. Nahi. You're gonna see a face when you try it. Nahi. What is it? Who can see a face? Nahi. What, what does that mean? Nahi. <laughs> what does it mean? Lola salat mat bolo. Mat what? गलत गलत सलत बोलो। मत मत। बोलो। मत बोलो। I didn't even know how to eat naan before you. No. With my food, I just was like a noob. Guys, I, I he used to eat butter chicken with rice. I taught piece. him to eat it with naan. I take your little piece. Is it very hot? Is it hot, honey? No, it's not that hot. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You say Bismillah before you eat. Rate karna hai mujhe. Khana rate karna hai. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Garam hai? Nahi. Pid. What's pear? Pid. I always hear you guys say that. Pid. Pear. Yeah. What's pear? Matlab pear. Matlab pear. Matlab. What is matlab pear? Namak kam hai. Namak? Kya? Q? Namak kam hai ya zada hai? Matlab. Matlab namak kam hai ya zada hai? Namak thik hai? What's namak? Food? What namak? I don't know what here you have some money. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, I'm going to give this. Mirchi theek hai? What? Mirchi theek hai? Yeah, I need. Nahi, mujhe abhi nahi khana. Tum khao. Kyu? Tum khao. Kha kar batao kaisa hai? Tum khao. Kha kar rating batao. Eh, uh, 9.8. Oh! I like it. I really like this one. Itna acha laga hai tumhe? Yeah, I really like this one. Acha? <laughs> okay. I love this food. Whenever she makes this, it's smoke. Guys, it's got it's it's moist. It's smoky. It's everything you could want in your chicken. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nahi mercha nahi no. <laughs> no. Which is nahi? This is not spicy, but don't add more. Mujhe dalni padegi phir mujhe. Nahi. Mujhe mujhe dalni padegi. No. I eat me- medium spice, okay, guys. I'm used to Pakistani food, so I eat I eat some spice, but not a lot. नहीं मुझे मुझे डालनी पड़ेगी. नहीं बहुत spice. मैं नहीं खा सकती हूँ. हाँ. मैं फीका खाना नहीं खा सकती. What? <laughs> this is hard. See, this is what it is. No, Nazir, no. No, नहीं, नहीं, नहीं spice के पास नहीं. Guys. Guys. बहुत नहीं. Say yes in the comments if you want another Urdu challenge. I know you guys do. Speaking Urdu gonna... with my husband for 24 hours, part two. Oh, we suffering. already did a part one. Say yes in the comments. Type yes in the comments if you want a part no. two. No, no, no. Jiha. This is my fourth Ramadan, inshallah. Jiha. Jiha. Actually, I'll do it. Chalo. Eat more spice. Sub yes, no. kare. Sub yes, kare. You guys, you guys eat too much spice. Okay? Sub yes, kare. Too much spice. Middle middle level is okay. Jiha. She loves chili. <laughs> yeah, she like it spicy. We'll be in like very spicy food. Yes, yes, yes. Sab chahte hain. 
सब चाहते है चलो तैयार हो जाओ अच्छा तैयार हो जाओ तैयार हो जाओ वट We're gonna go do it. Job is घंटे के challenge के लिए तैयार हो जाओ. Your job is to do the challenge and understand it. <laughs> What she say? This is gonna be fun. I said bring salt. What salt for? <laughs> This is how you do it. Guys, I'm mm. dead. Emily, you see my 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 struggle here, right? <laughs> All you guys who don't speak Urdu, you see my struggles. <laughs> But it's nice to learn another language. I wish you'd speak more of it, honey, with me. मेहदी <laughs> 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 Uh I wish I could speak that language too. What? When I'm at her house everyone speaks Urdu. I don't know what's going on but like I try. It's hard. Ready ho jao challenge ke liye. Mhm. Vina please read this comment and drink the Turkish coffee again. Shahid I don't uh I wasn't the one that drank any Turkish coffee. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I've never had Turkish coffee. <laughs> And I don't think I'll ever have Turkish coffee because I will. It's so bitter. Right I know. I love smoke flavors. Unfortunately, heat and food just tastes really bitter to me. Sweet and smoky. Guys, I'm telling you, just if you ever give this a try, it's so good. Turkish coffee is way too strong. I wouldn't know. <laughs> apparently, yeah, Armenian coffee is very strong too. Apparently, I think. I think DJ, it's about Sidra. DJ, DJ, thank you so much. It might be. It might be Sidra. Yeah. Mashallah from India. Have you ever been to India? My dad's from there. We I have not. My mom has. Like... My mom has. My mom's been to the Golden Temple in India. Okay. Mehdi, kyunki tum ye khana shuru ho gaye ho, ab hum live ko end karte hain, theek hai? We're ending the live and I'm going to go eat. Yes. Okay, guys. And we got to okay, film guys. a video tonight too. So it's like non-stop, but it's fun for you guys. So keep an eye out for a, a video inshallah we're hoping to post it tomorrow. Bazar al Haya Part Two Hall, guys. Check it out. Tomorrow. Outfits and yeah. You guys are gonna like it. I okay. Personally, I love some of the outfits I got this time. They're so my style. So just wait to see what I got. I cannot wait to show you guys what I got from Bazar al Haya this time. So just watch out for those. Your clothes match, yeah, sort of. My nikab matches his. They said you have amazing <laughs> Hindi skills. A talented lady. Thank you. मैं एक्चुअली उर्दू में बात कर रही हूँ लेकिन हिंदी भी वैसी ही है जैसी उर्दू होती है स्पीक विद समवन हु स्पीक्स हिंदी विल यू गाइस नोटिस एनी डिफरेंस या नो 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 वी वांट सो इट्स द सेम वेरी सिमिलर व्हाई यू जस्ट कॉल वन लैंग्वेज दैट हिंदी और उर्दू में काफी फर्क है व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस फर्क ये है कि हिंदी में कुछ लफ्ज अलग हैं संस्कृत के हैं और उर्दू में कुछ लफ्ज फारसी के हैं अरबी के हैं यू नो सो ओरिजिनल्स आर डिफरेंट या लाइक Uh, मैं एक एग्जांपल देती हूँ जैसे हिंदी में ख्वाब को कहते हैं सपना आप ड्रीम ड्रीम इज ख्वाब इन उर्दू एंड ड्रीम इज सपना इन हिंदी इन हिंदी ड्रीम इज सपना सपना एंड इन उर्दू ड्रीम इज ख्वाब ओके सो सम वर्ड्स आर वेरी डिफरेंट ख्वाब ख्वाब इन हिंदी इन हिंदी एंगेजमेंट इज सगाई सगाई And in Urdu, engagement is mangni. Mangni? Yes, mangni. Mangni? Yes. So Achha. there are differences in some words. When you write Urdu, it seems far away from Hindi. Oh. Yes, like both are written very, very differently. I don't know how to read Hindi at all. <laughs> What about Punjabi? I don't know how to read Punjabi either. Your family speaks Punjabi. Bubina has a beard. Yeah, I do. Big, long, longer than my jelly. It's like it's like Dumbledore beer, yeah. except it's purple. Yeah, Dumbledore. Okay, guys, I give this nine point eight. It's really good food. We're hoping to catch up soon, guys. Follow us on Instagram if you're not already, and if you guys want to join the Discord, find the link in our Instagram bio or our TikTok, guys. We'd love to have you join our community and talk to you more there. It's a pleasure, guys, and I hope you enjoy watching me eat and not know how to speak Urdu. <laughs> okay, guys. Until next time. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. This is how we always end everything. Yeah. Have a good day or night, guys. Bye.